Hi, I'm Damien Wills, CEO of the GoFly Group, and welcome to GoFly Online. And beside me, we have our marketing manager, Anne Marie Britton, who also happens to be my wife. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at flying into uh, one of our flight schools, which is situated at Heckfield. So, we're going to look at the procedures um, of flying into that field. It's quite an unusual airstrip. It's close to the Gold Coast, but it's situated in some of the most beautiful scenery we have here in Queensland. We're flying from today from Caloundra to Heckfield, uh, and we're flying via Bribey Island, Norton Island, Stradbroke Island, uh, and then uh, into what, what's known as the Jacobs Well area and the actual airstrip of Heckfield. Very important along while you're doing this trip that you're on the correct uh, frequency. Uh, for Brisbane Centre, that would be uh, 125.7. And also that you have a good look at the maps. There's a lot of control steps close to Brisbane around this area, and we don't want to punch through controlled airspace. So prior planning, very important uh, that we don't uh, that we fly the correct route and at the correct altitude that we don't punch through Brisbane uh, control zone. Absolutely beautiful day here on the coast, uh, and we'll be shortly flying over Morton Island and on to Stradbroke and then we'll look at the procedures as we enter Heckfield uh, CTAP Aerodrome itself. Some of the things to keep in mind when we're travelling from Bribey Island to Morton Island, we want to be within gliding distance of land and we need to be at 3,000 feet in the sling in nil wind that will make land in the halfway point just. We also have life jackets in the back as well because we are over uh, quite a bit of water now. The other major change in this area at the moment is Brisbane Centre has changed the control step, so we can't go too far south. The actual control step steps down to 2,500 beam the township of Warham here, so we need to stay slightly north of that. I'm checking my airplane here to make sure we are north of it. It steps down about half a mile to our south from here, but we can stay at 3,000 in this position. What do you think, darling? You pretty good? That's sensational. So we're coming up on the western side of Morton Island now, we're descending down to 1000. We're going to fly on the coast, the western side of both Morton and the Stradbroke Island at 1000. Important to note that there is a small airfield at Tangalimba Resort, or Morton Island, near Tangalimba Resort, and there's also a lot of helicopter activity in the area. So we want to first of all have a good listen out on area frequency. We'll also give a, a radio call on the Unicom common uh, CTAF frequency 1267 that we're in the area and we're transiting just in case there's helicopter activity or any other aircraft in the area that might be landing at that airstrip. So we're just having a good look out and listen out for any aircraft. Hey, off our left here we're coming up on the Tangalima airstrip. It's really a fantastic spot but as you can see it's a fairly short strip, very sandy and in strong winds you've got mountains just to the to the east of it, which can make it fairly bumpy. But just because we can't hear anything on the radio doesn't mean there's no aircraft here, so always be vigilant, have a really good lookout. And down to our left here we have Tangalimba Resort. So we're now on the southern of Morton Island. We're about to cross over a very, very tight passage between Morton Island and Stradbroke. It's quite spectacular. And once again, looking out for other aircraft that might be flying coastal the other way. And listening out on uh, Brisbane Centre. OK, we're getting quite a, a bit of buffet around the south east, hitting the mountains here on Stradbroke, and coming from south Stradbroke as well. A bit of a rainbow here, and some showers, some isolated showers around the Bay Area. Very important as we reach to the, come to the south of Stradbroke Island, we don't cut across too early. Uh, and into Brisbane Control Zone, Brisbane Airport, so up to our west. And we stay on the western side of Stradbroke. Okay, we're getting close to uh, being one zero miles out from Heckfield, so I'll switch across to the Heckfield frequency, which is at the moment 119.0. Being not a, uh, being a grass or gravel runway, it is quite hard to see unless you're right over it. Okay, so a couple of little shower above. So it is favouring runway 10. Confirm the windsock. And 10 is a left hand circuit. So we're going to descend on the non active side to join a crosswind for 10. Looking out for other aircraft, we're going to start our descent. Elevation is only 10 feet. 
Three landing six flanks are off. Yep. And a carry down fuel. Is sufficient. Instruments on the green. Hatches and harness is all secure there. And we're secure. Wind is down the runway. So now one zero. We do have some trees at the end of the runway, so power is required. So we're slowing it down. You want to be around 500 feet turning on the final. We're clearing our final. There's no aircraft there. And remember, if you're not happy with any part of the approach, particularly on a on a runway that isn't very wide, go around. Halfway down base, second stage flap. Little shower. Still maintaining visibility, VMC. Over the creek. Power off. Lower the nose. Coming in, coming in. Looking to the end. Waiting for the hold off. There we go. That was certainly a little bit more challenging today with the uh, with the rain. If you weren't comfortable or with a new airstrip, I'd suggest just holding for a while until that rain shower passed so you've got better visibility. Did you bring the umbrella? <laughs> Hi, I'm Damien Wills and we're back at Land of the Tech Field and today we've got our special guests Marriott and Errol. Just tell us about yourselves guys. Oh, well, we've uh, we immigrated here uh, to Australia about nine years ago and I brought the Slim Agency uh, to Australia. So, uh, incidentally, the very first Slim that we ever sold as factory built was sold into Go Fly. Um, aviation in Caloundra yes. and um, that aircraft 8340 is now based here yes. in our aero club here at Eggfield um, for use by private members and we also do flight training still in it. Yeah so we've been here about eight years now. So tell us about Gap Aero, obviously you're selling the Sling 2, uh, the Sling 4 and the Sling 4 TSI yeah. and what other products? Well we also have the, uh, the Bush Gap aircraft yes. which is starting to become really, a, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very nice, a fun aircraft. Um, it's more of a bush plane, yeah. uh, tricycle and uh, tail rail, although we sell about 90% tail rails in Australia. So yes. I would say light sport aircraft in terms of a tail rail, that aircraft has just got its own little niche and it's, it's just a nice aircraft to fly. And then the other aircraft that we also market is the JMB. It's a very high end, very sporty, very fast uh, uh, light sport aircraft. But at the upper end of light sports car, so it's, it's really it's an expensive aircraft, but it's built like a sports car. So, you know, it's a very small market for an aircraft like that. For pilots visiting um, Heckfield, um, as far as, is there anything in particular you'd like to tell them or warn them about when they come here? Well, <laughs> you know, as I always said, we, you know, we flew four years ago, we flew around Australia, uh, actually five years ago already. And, you know, we flew in and out of a lot of airfields. And it was quite funny when we flew into Hegfield. I, I told Marie, I think this is, of all the airfields that we flew in and out of, it's probably the smallest and the least equipped of all the airfields. But it's such a nice little airfield because, you know, we, uh, our, uh, our Class C upper, upper space on us is, is 3,500 feet. Yes, yes. So, you know, you can go in and out of here and without ever have to fly into any controlled airspace. You take off from here, Two minutes, you're literally over the beach. Yeah. So it, it, it's just beautiful flying in here with all, you know, we've got all the sugar cane around us. So coming in, it, it's really, it's a beautiful setting for an airfield. And Mary, you've, you've got your um, regressive pilot certificate and you're doing a navigation training at the moment. Errol, are you worried when she gets endorsed that you're going to be arguing on, on certain flying techniques like when you're flying together? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just worried because my daughter is also now training, uh, and um, you know, so I, 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 I'm a bit worried about the day that I have to take the back seat. Yes. And the two of them is going to sit in front, <laughs> and then I have to, you know, sit their hands. So, you yes. know, so yeah, it's going to be interesting. But now we we enjoy it, but. Or family members for pilots. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, thanks, um, guys, for um, interviewing today. And if you are interested in um, visiting Heckfield, please go on to the um, URSA. The details are there. Remember to ring the clubhouse, the number's in there before you land, and to check out the conditions of the runway because it can flood here. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. The, the club has their own website. Yes. Uh, www. 
and then for Gold Coast Sports Flying Club. Yes. Um, www.goldcoastsportflyingclub.org.au for all the information um, yeah. on this on the aerodrome here. Um, <laughs> great, excellent. Good. Good. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, we're about to taxi out on runway one zero again. The weather has cleared up. That beautiful heck field. Thank you, very radio call. Heck call traffic, swing 1635. He's taxiing on my one zero heck field. And uh, brake uh, swing holding one zero. He better take off. Uh, Romeo to that, flying up now. And uh, swing 1635, copy, we'll watch it. Well, there is a small taxiway here, but for the preference, it's a backtrack on the runway. That's uh, usually the driest. Okay, my emergency brief. My engine fail below 700 feet. I uh, will land up to 20 degrees to the side of the nose. I will not turn back. Once I'm above 700 feet, I can land uh, probably on the cross runway. Today, with the amount of wind, or I can actually turn around and land on the uh, opposite runway as well. On checks on. On fuels. Seatbelt nice and secure. Don't get any tighter. Right. To grab a runway, make sure that we uh, power up very slowly. Yeah, next time. Thanks for joining us today on Go Fly Online. I hope you enjoyed our our tour of Heckfield on the Gold Coast. Um, you enjoyed the flight, Emery? Yeah, it was amazing to see all those islands. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it's a beautiful trip um, from Calandra to Heckfield, or anywhere into Heckfield. And uh, please remember to subscribe to our Go Fly Online YouTube channel. Happy and safe flying, and see you next time.